rivers are our lifeblood. That's true anywhere, but in Eastern Washington, Columbia and the Yakima rivers are important to us. Stargrass in the Yakima River, in the lower 30 to 50 miles of the Yakima River, this clogs water intakes. It uh, jeopardizes navigation in the, in the flow of the river. It deoxygenates the river and raises the temperature. This is not good for fish species. So it's an impediment to both the natural function of the river as well as our recreational component and our water use component. Water quality, water quantity, all these sorts of things. Stargrass is impacting all of them. The health of the lower Yakima River is very important to the overall basin because salmon go through that area twice. The biggest impact is when the river is hot and low in the summer and we've got adult sockeye, adult summer chinook coming back through. It can literally stop them from migrating up the river. The conditions are so poor. Historically, we had fall Chinook reds and fall Chinook spawning. I mean, we've had documented reds up until the early 2000s. So we see a decline in the salmon populations. We see a decline in the habitat. We see the increase in the star grass and the predator population. With all of that, we're seeing the big decline in our salmon populations. Salmon are very important to our tribe. Fish need to breathe too. So they, they breathe through the water. They're able to pull that oxygen out of the water. If you've got biomass like stargrass that is so dense and so prevalent, uh, enough so that it actually raises the water level, then that is just pulling that oxygen out and there's far less of that for the fish to breathe. Go into a room and suck all the air out and see how that works for you. The concern is that as water stargrass continues to expand and be more dominant within the lower river, it's converting our free-flowing river into a stagnant swamp. Stagnant, swampy areas might be concentrating nutrients, our breeding grounds for mosquitoes, and can potentially lead to harmful algal blooms. Benton County, in general, is kind of an epicenter for disease activity, mosquito-borne disease transmission in the state of Washington. The Yakima River here is vital for, for irrigation. Right over your shoulder here, you have some of the uh, finest grapes in the world across the river. My ranch is just a couple of miles down from where we're standing. All of the irrigation for the cities, for farmers in this area come out of this river. It's a beautiful thing when it's not choked full of grass. The river is vital to our community, our economy, our environment, and our way of life. The Yakima River belongs to all of us. We can heal this river, preserving it for our future and future generations to come. The time to act is now. Please join Benton Conservation District and our partners as we work together to restore the health and vitality of the lower Yakima River.